Hi everybody, I am Paloma, I am from Chile and I have been living in New Zealand for 8 years. I'm a naturopath American herbalist and in Chile I am a medical doctor. Last year I had the amazing opportunity to do a cooking workshop with EcoMatters where I got to use their amazing veggie garden. A recipe that we made there that I'm going to show you today is arepas. Arepas is traditional to some countries in South America such as Colombia and Venezuela. It's very easy to make and for them it's kind of their bread. The good thing is that it's gluten free because it's made from corn and because of that it has a bit of more nutrients, okay? So we're going to use two cups of pre-cooked corn flour. You can buy it in New Zealand. A bit of salt, any other spice that you want to add and two and a half cups of water. Then we can use a bit of oil if we want to fry them or alternatively, we can put them in the oven, okay? A tip that a Venezuelan lady told me is that always put the corn flour first because sometimes you will need less water. Here I'm going to show you how it shouldn't be. So this one is very runny as you can see, okay? This one is very dry, but this one, it's just perfect, okay? So the consistency is like something that you can play with, but it doesn't stick into your hands, can you see? And then that lady, she was very good with it. She would like flip it around and turn it around. You can make it any size. I prefer them to make them small. They cook faster and then people will tend to eat less, okay? So this is the size, but I'm going to fry this one. We'll put it here and we put it there. It's like five minutes per side, but a tip she also gave me was like, can you hear that? Come close. The noise, that is when you know that it's ready, okay? So now I'm just going to open you. You can put anything inside. You can put apple, egg, some veggies, chicken, whatever, and then you fill it up, okay? So, I'm not going to cook that because this is a short video, but this is what we will do in our next cooking workshop at Eco Matters. I hope to see you then. Bye!